What's good, YouTube? Gabriel Ryder here, PGA Tour Driven. The movement towards improvement. Back at it like a crack addict. Except for without the crack. Uh, not to say that I wouldn't do crack per se. I just have other priority things going on at this time. And yes, I did just make up that word priority. You're welcome. This video, I'm going to be showing you guys where I'll be living, where I'll be playing and practicing, and where I'll be making the majority of my videos. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for like the next six seconds, like cut from this clip and the meat of the video actually begins. Okay, so we're actually in my apartment right now and I'm just gonna show you guys our little balcony area. Just a nice little view. Can you focus this thing? There we go. <laughs> it's on manual, folks, what are you gonna do? Nice little view right here. We are in Arizona, for those of you who don't know. I was in San Diego, which in German means a whale's vagina. That's actually a uh, Will Ferrell reference, uh, if you didn't know. Actually, we could cut to an intermission right now. Intermission time, please. Discovered by the Germans in 1904, they named it San Diego, which of course in German means a whale's vagina. All right. Okay, so here was our living room. As you can see, we got a nice little putting green right here, a little metronome. Got a nice little golf mat, you know, we can hit wiffle balls or do whatever we want. Right now, I'm walking on a polyurethane carbon fiber carpet. Helps circulate the blood flow. And uh, you've probably never heard of it because honestly, I just made that up. There's my golf clubs. Now walking onto some Eastern Canadian maple wood flooring. <laughs> it's pretty nice stuff, really. Dirty dishes, you know, the usual when it comes to a kitchen. Um, can I focus this thing there we go so yeah standard kitchen here standard living room this would be my buddy Sam's room our bathroom obviously not much appealing this would be my room uh, still getting settled in but you know gotta get everything in its right place here's where we'll be editing videos got that desk for 20 bucks on Craigslist $13 chair for Goodwill so definitely Balling on a budget these days. Uh, this is a cool thing, cool picture I got on Craigslist for like 25 bucks. Ben Hogan, 1959 US Open at Wingfoot. Pretty badass, Mr. Hogan, pretty badass. Uh, closet's pretty jam-packed right now. I mean, I brought everything over from San Diego, so. I mean, this thing's stuffed pretty damn good. Some balls and gloves up there, some books. So, you know, trying to pack everything in there, not easy schmeezy. I will be doing a giveaway this month. I'm going to give away a couple of things. I'm going to give away this shirt. It's a medium Adidas shirt in two weeks. And I'll give away this hat in a month. So just All you have to do is be a subscriber to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page. And you're going to have a chance to win. I'm going to give away a lot of stuff too while I'm here. Um, I got a lot of, I got a couple pairs of shoes, some hats, some shirts, you know. I even got a... Buick Invitational flag. It's signed by like John Daly, Freddie, Sergio, Ernie. So I got a lot of stuff to give away. But yeah, you know, nice and cozy. So I'm gonna go to the course, show you guys some of the practice facility and some of the course. I'll get some good footage for you guys. Okay, you guys just pulled up to the course, riding the white stallion, the 99 Honda Civic. They say life was what you live, so you could say that I live it. I'm in it to win it. No matter which way you spin it, I'm winning. <laughs> bars all day so I'm gonna pull up to the range and show you guys some of the practice facility okay so here we are on the front end of the range there's my bag and as you can see there's a lot of golfers over there hitting balls and then to my right we have a short game area right there and if we keep going we have a big putting green right there so they have a front putting green a front short game area and front range and the cool thing is that it's always in really good shape so that's the nice part good grass good balls nice bunker area and a really big putting green rolls true so that's that's nice for practice if we look in the back there that's their indoor facility they got about five hitting bays with flight scope track man k vest sand putting you know lcd tvs with cameras so Real cool place to, to practice. That's where they give their lessons over there. It's a badass academy. And they have a back range, a back putting green, a back short game area. So, 
I'll try to head back there soon and show you guys some of that as well because it's got all the tools you need to help improve your game. Okay you guys, so here I am at the back of the range. As you can see, no one's over here right now. Uh, what I like about this range is you got pure grass to hit off. As you can see, it's super pure, nice tailor-made range balls. This would be the facility that I was looking at from the front of the range. You got five indoor hitting bays, once again, with TrackMan, flight scope, K vest, monitors, cameras, the whole kit and caboodle. And then over here, we have a nice putting green. Okay, so here's the putting green right behind the range. It's pretty big size, which is nice. And then over there, we have the short game area. Looks like someone's cutting a new hole in. And a couple holes, a couple bunkers, nice grass once again, which is nice. Here's the front end of the academy. So let's go inside and I'll show you guys what they got in there. Okay, so here's some of the facility for you guys. Okay, nice monitors. This is the K vest suit right here. All the fitting tools. Here you got Sam putting, which is cool because they got a lot of different quotes and on the wall. Once again, some more TVs, cameras on the back wall. You got flight scope right here. They got trackmen on the other side. So I'm just going to give you guys a little taste today, not show you everything, but a pretty badass place too that has all the tools to improve your game. Okay, here's the lounge room uh, where I come in, eat my lunch, do my performance debriefs, you know, get a game plan for the day. Uh, they hold meetings in here. Uh, just a time to relax, eat, recuperate, then go out and practice some more. All right, what up, you guys? We're at the back of the range. This is Davis right here. Met him yesterday. What are you working on, Davis? Um, trying to the ball solid. <laughs> it's just solid contact, huh? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's see you a couple. That was pretty pure. There's only three things you need to hit the ball straight. Path, club face angle, and contact. So... It's good to work on one of those. You playing any tournaments, Davis, or? Um, not for a while, not till February. Gotcha. Not golf season, huh? No. Hit those pretty good. Oh, well, thanks, Davis. Practice well, man. Thank you, you too. Up here, all right, we're on here on the back of the range with Shane and then that's my roommate, Sam. Uh, they played a tournament around this morning over at Whirlwind. Shane busted a five undie. He's tied for second right now. Sam shot a couple under. Not sure where that's at at the moment. Wake up, probably go warm up for an hour, go play around, and then head to the course afterwards and beat some more balls. Just the, the daily grind out here. Gonna be checking out the, the camera settings tonight, see if everything yeah. looks good. Pure size. All right, you guys, here we are on the course. Got a little par three for you. 190, got a back right pin up there on a plateau. So I'm hitting nice, not easy four and uh, just try not to go long. Okay, so I hit that right where I was looking. I pured it and it just carried the green. So I just flushed it, hit it way too good. Totally wrong club. I already landed in the fairway bunker and rolled out, so kind of got lucky there.
Okay, so here's my ball right here in the rough. Uh, roll to this fairway bunker. But here I have 67 to the front, or I should say to the pin. Probably only about, I don't know, 63 to the front. It's probably only five on. So not a great drive. I probably wouldn't have hit that if I knew pin was front. I'm in a downhill eye in the rough to a front pin. I can't get a lot of speed, so I won't be able to probably put this too close. And this is a shot I need to work on anyways with my distances is these these tweeners right here. Uh, you know, anything that's not a three-quarter or full lot wedge. So we'll see what we can do. Wow, I hit that about perfect and just landed on the fringe right where I wanted to. You could see it and just didn't release at all, so it's all right. I hit it. I made pretty good contact. I'm only about maybe 15 feet from the pin, so distance was good. Okay, so here we are walking up. It's a nice little hole, actually. Um, you know, birdie hole, but you put in put a nice little front pin. Or there's this tier back here, but here's my ball just off the green. That's basically where it landed. But you know, I won't be too mad with that. It's off, but I'm only about if I would pace it off. One, two, three four five yeah so about 15 feet right here and that's pretty respectable uh, from 67 yards so I'd take that all day be better if I had a green and a putt but I could just belly this you guys hope you liked that video my camera battery actually ran out on me on the course, so I'm going to try to pick up another battery so I could get longer footage. I'm actually going to be meeting with the instructors at the academy. I showed you a little bit of the academy at the back of the range. And hopefully after meeting with them, I'll be able to record them giving some lessons, maybe some tips with some of the instructors, maybe some tips with some of the you know junior college professional golfers that hang around there. I think that would be really cool. So. I will be doing a giveaway as usual, so all you can do is subscribe, go like my Facebook page. I really appreciate it. And thanks, you guys. I'll be uploading some more videos soon, and I appreciate your support. Thank you.